Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Use a skill, watch him beat. That's another picky D. Doing everybody bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. You just getting stick alive. The game ain't even started yet, but you already shook. Got some mad librarian, now watch him throw a book. Wow. Cap it like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. And the defense got it covered like stay bomb. Hey, hey, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. What's happening, Doggy Bone? We back on the Madine, bro, and we are officially at that time of year, bro. We at the time of the year where you're going to be facing some of the most OP run schemes in the game, right? And uh, you, that's essentially what this gameplay is, bro. It's just two demonic run schemes, bro. The second one, the second part of the, the second vi video, the second game in this video, what the fluff? The second game in this video, his run scheme was like OD annoying. So, um, I like, and I'm gonna keep it a buck. I hate playing runners, bro. It's so boring. But you know what I'm saying? I don't get too mad anymore because when you like, you just understand, bro. Some people they just like to play like this, I guess, and the game don't get boring to them. And you know what I'm saying? When when you start getting the better players and the discounted AP and uh, uh, all these certain like ultimate legend cards that have out of positions. So you might get a, a ultimate legend lineman and then his out of position cards that go into his set might be a wide receiver, a tight end. And what it allows for you to do is put together some OD ass run schemes, bro. Now you have this 99 speed and with the uh, strat card glitch, um, every every card gets a plus one. So Gus Edwards is 99 speed, regardless of where he's at, like on what team. It ain't just Ravens. He's 99 because he's 98 uh, speed stop. And with the little glitchy poo, he 99 speed on every single thing team. So it's we at a point now where you finna see how like this this is the worst time of the year as far as playing runners because everybody got an OD run scheme for the runners, bro. The only thing with playing runners um, is they will fold when it's time to pass. When the game is on the line and they need a dot, they will fold, bro. That's the only thing about runners. They always fold in that moment. Um. So, yeah. Also, you know what I'm saying? I want to. Uh, we could do something different. You know what I'm saying? In the comment section. If y'all got a question, anything y'all want to ask, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and comment it down below. Um, I'll either I'll respond to the questions uh, right there in the comment section because y'all know I respond to every comment, and then I'll do another one. You know what I'm saying? In the next video where I uh, answer some of those questions, I'll answer some of the best questions. You hear me? So, uh, oh, dog. So I got recognized. Um, it, it's, it happens a little bit more frequently. Not, not a lot, though. You know what I'm saying? So I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Take care of some business. I got my nephew with me. Because um, we had just left the barbershop. And this nigga just was violating in the barbershop. Um, so I hear Doggy Bone. Now, Doggy Bone is commonplace. In, in Detroit, you know what I'm saying? That's just how we tell. What's good, doggy? What's good, doggy bone? Like, that's just how niggas talk in Detroit. But it had his dog. I knew his doggy bone was meant for me because it, it was, it, it had a little twang to it. Like, it was, what's up, doggy bone? Like, he was, <laughs> he was like, he was, this is how, this is how, this is why runners is ass, bro. All right, let, let's pause the story. So, look, I hit him in the flats with Gronk. He's in 6-1. The moment you motion out, you negate your seven-man pressure and you negate the complete middle of the field. You know what I'm saying? So instead, like, you're so thirsty to send pressure that you would tear up your whole defense to cover a flat instead of you staying in a flat, maybe sending six, and then just flatten this guy. You, you come over here, leave the complete middle of the field open, 
And I, I get to run a QB draw. That's probably the most open the QB draw has ever been for me. That's my only issue with runners. It seems like runners don't understand shit else about the game. They don't understand the defensive side. They don't understand how to pass and put route combo together. It be seeming like they only know how to run. But so, um, you hear, what's up, Dougie Bone? Like, it was an Arabic dude. So, as soon as I hear it, I'm like, ain't no Arabic dude, like, just talking like that regular. Because, like, especially here, like, uh, in Dearborn, I, I was, like, on the borderline Dearborn, uh, Detroit, where I was uh, at the barbershop. So, Dearborn dudes more so, like, what's, what's up, bro? What's good, bro? Walla, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's how they talk here. So, I instantly turned, and he was like, you know what I'm saying, ran up on me with his peoples. And I've always told y'all, bro, don't run up on me. Especially when I got my, my daughter or if I got any family with me. I'm going to put you down, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, nigga, I, 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 I'm from Detroit, nigga. I got PTSD. But he didn't run up on me like that. Dougie Bone. And then, you know what I'm saying? He did the thing. Like, he was making sure. I'm like... What's good, doggy? So he ran up, you know what I'm saying? He was cool. Uh, we kicked it, talked for about two, three minutes. And then, um, this not racist, but I, I, is this racist? Is this racist? I'm like, yo, where y'all gas station at? You know what I'm saying? That's not racist, bro. Because from, from my knowledge, my Arabic homeboys, they all got the, they, they all got the, the, the gas stations. They own the gas stations. Or they work at Quicken Loans here and here. They got gas stations, Quicken Loans, and um, or they in some sort of like, like they got car lots. You know what I'm saying? So, and he, and he struck me just the way he was dressed. Because he had, he, he put the shit on a little bit. He wasn't like, he wasn't bummy like Teague B. He put the shit on. So, I knew by the way he was dressed, he had a little gas station on him. And and uh, he told me, uh, bro, uh, he I'm not gonna put his business out there, but he told actually that's promo. Doggy had a uh, he had a gas station on Ford Road, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, come through, bro, gas on me when 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 you come through. All right then, you know what I'm saying? Being famous got perks. So yeah, I don't, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? When, when I do commentaries, it'd be hella random, so. Yeah, that did what happened. That was that, that that was a good, it was a good time today. It was a good time. So uh, ten seven game. He had he had to kick three because I I've also noticed that about runners they take three quite a lot on on bread drives or into the half drives because they run so much the clock management be terrible. Like you can't your dependency like running is the most unknown thing in Madden. You never know when you're going to break one or not. So when you're so dependent on a run, especially on them bread drives, bro, you dependent that you can break one. So if, if my run D get to clicking, of course he has the ability where he's going to break that first tackle. But if we can just tackle you and, and get some cats on, uh, up on you, you feel me? Uh, we kind of going to knock, we going we gonna, to we gonna knock your dick in the dirt. You feel me? So, right here, he started going dime, normal, DB blitz, just sending seven, six, seven every rip. My line did a terrible job of identifying where pressure was coming from. So, this drive for me is the game on the line. Even though it's third quarter with two minutes left, the game is on the line, in my opinion, because uh, his 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 game is built to, to kill clock. Is Right here, he, that's the linebacker. I'm going to throw that every time. His game is built to kill clock, so no matter, and then he he didn't even have a pick artist on him. So no matter what's going on, if I can get up, is where he's going to fold because I'm going to put him in a position where he has to throw the ball and he can't make reads. When he comes on that pistol open close, he got the inside fade that he going to be looking for. I need to take that away. As you can see, we're doing a terrible job of just blocking and I'm blocking six. So third and 22, I know he not blocking a running back. Boom, we hit the running back. We pick up at least half of that. Right here, I'm a um, motion Gronk over because remember, I've been blitzing Gronk. Not going to blitz him. I'm a street Gronk because I know the blitzer, uh, the responsibility for Gronk is this individual right here. 
but he's on a blitzer. So usually that when he's blitzing, the responsibility for the running back or the tight end is this individual. He's here. He's a blitzer. So he's here. This is his responsibility. And I don't know if he's deep blowing or not or if he's manning him up, but I'm assuming this is his because if um, if Gronk was his responsibility, he would have rotated with them. So I'm assuming it's either a zone or he manned up here, which leaves this individual. He's his responsibility because he's mugging the gap. The moment I hike the ball, if I get a free release, it's a touchdown because everybody else has man principles. What I should have done was just flat at him to take him here. You know what I'm saying? So that uh, the Gronk is really the only read. The only read, and as you can see, easy money. Easy money. No adjustments. It's just DB fire. Send everybody. Mug the gap and pray we get home. And because every time I motion Gronk over, after I hit him with the little drag route, he was um he was a blocker. He just hey, he wasn't expecting that at all. So now we got him in a position that we want him to. You know what I'm saying? Just psychologically, like if you if you slow play games, the last thing you want to do is be down. You know what I'm saying? And then be put in a position you're not comfortable in. Like as you can see right there, we scream at him with pressure. Right here, he runs the ball on second down. We actually get to tackle because he's not lit up. Right here, he runs that uh route that I was telling y'all about. And boom. I did not green screen this shit out. My bad, y'all. My bad. Let's run it back. I'm going to uh, take that away. So, it, the one thing you notice, this. He can hit this check down. If he breaks this tackle, he can pick up the first. You know what I'm saying? But he's not even looking this way. This was his first read. You know what I'm saying? So, I jump over there. I take away his first read. He has this backside corner route that's about to get matched here. We're matching in the flats. And he's sitting on this route. You know what I'm saying? He throws it. Before the corner can even break towards the sideline, he throws the corner out. We sitting there just waiting on it, and we pick it off. God damn it. I can't. I'm a green screen this out, though. If y'all see this green screened out, like, just know I fixed my mistake. It was, it's a terrible mistake I made. But, um, yeah, so coming back out, easy work for me now, bro. I just got to go down, get seven, and the game is over. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Right there, I should have thrown to X early, but, you know what I'm saying? Nigga be missing reads sometimes. Right here, I make the read that it's man to man because I feel like that's really all he can play. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like he's good at any other coverage. Right there, boom, we hit this uh, the slant route, pick up great yard. This is the one thing, again, about man defense, guys. They don't have adjustments. Well, runners in general don't have a lot of adjustments. Instead of making an adjustment for here... For the C route, which would be to just put him on the third. Put him on the third. That C route is no longer tangible. He runs with his user all the way left and completely abandons the middle of the field. If you're playing against man defense, you know. C routes, slants, posts, they beat man. You know what I'm saying? Corner routes, if you in tight compressed sets, destroy man. So all I'm doing is C route, slant, post, just man beaters. And outside of this uh, C route, I'm planning to attack him in the middle of the field. So when you completely abandon the middle of the field and then you go just a third here for no reason. You know what I'm saying? What's the reason for your third? I haven't been throwing posts all game. So you really want to do something with this guy to protect you in this part if you're going to abandon with your user. But he does none of that. We kill him with the slant. I could have thrown the post. If I would have waited, the post would have been a touchdown because I could have threw it across the face of his third. But, yeah, that's that what I be saying, bro. Like, if you're going to run the ball, it is imperative that you understand defense, bro. If you're going to run the ball that much, you need to be able to cre create stops. And you can't create stops against good players with just regular, well, some regular man defense and just hope and pray. Because now the game is over. Like, right now, I'm just, I'm chilling now. The game is over. Um, he can, he can, he can try to throw the ball. I'm not going to go into anything super complex that could result in me turning up, I mean, giving up a big play. 
I'm gonna let him work his way up the field. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is for me at this point. You know what I'm saying? I ain't really got no worries about uh, him uh, throwing the ball. You know what I'm saying? Right here, he goes to that little out route. You are more than welcome to have that. Oh, Y'all know I went for the hit stick. That one thing. Y'all know I'm going for the hit stick. Like, it looks good on paper, six for eight. But they're, they, they empty throws that don't really mean nothing. They didn't really help him progress outside that touchdown on his first drive. And that's just because I was a tad bit away from taking that, you know what I'm saying, to the crib. So you hitting the out route and things of that nature is not really a big deal to me. Nothing is because you had already burned through your t uh, timeout. So if I get the ball, it's GG's. I literally just need to get one timeout. Right there was my fault because I clicked on him. Instead of just clicking on, coming down here, clicking off so he can get the knockout, I end up clicking on dog. You know what I'm saying? Um, so right here again, I'm just going to double Mabel that side. I'm going to watch for that little fade route that he likes. Uh, take that away, and then we get the saccharone and cheese again. He does not look at his flats or anything of the sort right there. Oh man, he pissed me off because he we, the match was perfect, but he didn't jump inside and grab it. So, right here, you see, we put the hook curl there, but the hook curl moves the hell away. You see, the hook curl is in perfect place because I know that he's going to that inside fade route, you know what I'm saying. For whatever reason, he drops straight down here and leaves the exact spot where he was supposed to be at. You know what I'm saying? Gives up that. So I'm not really tripping. Cause I'm like, all right, you know what I'm saying? I could just uh, run this clock out. He goes back to it. I know he's going back to the same thing. So I put the same adjustments out there. You know what I'm saying? If it ain't, it, it ain't broke, don't fix it. He didn't play it correctly. You know what I'm saying? So we go to the exact same thing. That time he plays it like he's supposed he was supposed to the first time. Make it a 21-16 game with 55 seconds left. It took him over two minutes to go down there and score. So really all I gotta do is just get the ball right here. We pick up the onside with Beckham. And it is it, it's GG's, bro. Like the game uh score wise looks a lot closer than when it was, but for me, after he threw that pick, the game was over. After any runner throws a pick, especially in the second half, the game is over. You know what I'm saying? Because it just takes them too long to move the ball. So right there, we uh we just we just went ahead and uh gave him a shot right here to get a stop. To be honest with you, I could have just uh let the clock dwindle and then sky punted it. But you know what I'm saying? Nah, go ahead. We let's see what you got, big dog. Boom, he goes zone. Don't really know how to play zone, though. Leaves the middle of the field completely abandoned. Don't know where the hell he was with his user in the cover, too, like that. Uh, you definitely want a mid-read or at least a uh, third in the middle. You know what I'm saying? He does neither. Ends up losing the game. That's the first runner we play. You know what I'm saying? These is back-to-back, -back too. Just so y'all aware, these are back-to-back -back games. I send him. He, he, he a Twitch streamer, I guess. I send him a message. Same thing I told y'all, bro. Runners fold, man. Runners fold every time when they got a pass, bro. Like if I run into if I ever run into a runner who understands route combos and, and things of that nature, oh, it's gonna be GG's. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be GG's in the community. But when you know route combos, you don't really run one. You don't really want to run a damn ball for real, for real. So this second guy we about to get into was actually a lot more, like his scheme was a bit more toxic. I played him multiple times. He's actually on the channel before. You know what I'm saying? But but it wasn't because he was like super cold. It was because he used to run quarters 3D. But we have not played since Quadfather came out. And for y'all who don't know, Quadfather is a game changer. He has run and gun on Kenny Stabler, which allows him to make these throws and they'll be perfect on the run every rip, which is huge for him because he rolls out the pocket every single time. You know what I'm saying? So right here, he has a uh, alignment. And remember I was telling y'all, that is the uh, Ultimate Legend Zimmerman. His out of position card is a wide receiver. So he put him on uh, at wide receiver, but he still has lineman stats. So when he wants to run that under center jump with Quad Father, it's even more OD. You know what I'm saying? Like as you can see, he he pancaking shit, bro. 
He pancaking shit. He's going to dominate my receivers. He's going to dominate them. So my uh my thought process was the same as the last one. He'll he'll have to pass. He'll have to pass. And then when we take that away from him, we'll be good. Like right there again, crosser to Zimmerman, touchdown. He actually passed decently on that drive, but everything is to Zimmerman. So once you figure that out, it's like, all right, cool. Take Zimmerman out, and then we'll get our pick. That's all. That's all I'm thinking. Once I take Zimmerman away, dog not going to have nothing. He going to throw the pick ED. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how most do. So, again, we're going to come out. We're going to run our QB draw. We're going to try to get Dirty on that one time for the one time. Uh, just like most, you know what I'm saying, as we break this with Stabler, um, the, hey, y'all like my jerseys? You know what I'm saying? I did a little something. I did a little something with these. But like most dudes uh, he, uh, who do run the ball, he wants to make sure it's just a body on everything and then try to send pressure. So he is in, he, he's in press man. He just going to send a Mary rip. You know what I'm saying? He going to send five, hover, press man, zero adjustments per the usual. So my thing is, I'm just going to keep throwing this C route. I'm be honest with you. At this point, I was cooked off the game. I ain't want to play no more. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to I'm I'm throw this C route right there. We throw the post. We just get a terrible throw from Stabler. I don't really know what that was. But it's not going to stop me. You know what I'm saying? It's, I only got two reads. Uh, right here, we going to the corner route. Boom, we got the corner route. And then the knockout activates. So I'm like, okay. So he has his knockouts, etc. And it's still not a big deal. Um, I'm going back to the same concepts that I've been running. They getting open, but I just need to beat the nigga a little uh, more. Pause. What the fuck, man? Let's redo that part over. Now that touchdown don't count. Okay. Yo, see, I'm grown, and even now, like even as somebody who's not a pauser, that's pause worthy. I just have to uh, dominate. This one-on-one -on, -one on the left side, and if I can dominate that one-on-one -on, -one on the left side, I will be able to win uh, this game, and he'll get open more for me. Golly, you got to, if I can just beat this nigga, Paul. <laughs> I was crazy, dog. Raw Tech light up. We smoke, dog, by 50 million yards, and we take it to the crib for the tug, man. Oh, my. God, what was that, bro? That was crazy. All I gotta do is beat this nigga. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Alright, so we coming back out, bro. Um, he's still on the same tip. You know what I'm saying? He gonna uh, try to throw the Zimmerman. Zimmerman out there. So what does he do? Just throw a blind ass uh, flat throw. You know what I'm saying? So once you see stuff like that, once the, once you see them start making the blind reads, bro, then you like, yo, I'm a smoke dog motherfucking boots. Right there, he breaks tackles with Quadfather. That comes with it. My thing is when I'm playing against them, as long as I can touch him up at this initial point, I know I'm going to be good. Even if he breaks it and goes 70, as long as the first time I don't get a tackle animation on him, like right here, like right there. As long as I don't get, as I get those, I'm good. Now, if I don't get my tackle animation as until he's like right here, 20, 30 yards up the field, those are going to be touchdowns every time. But if I can get a, if I can touch him up initially, I'm fine. Even if he break it and go 70, because as long as I can touch him up initially, this won't be a continuance. He won't be able to do this. You know what I'm saying? So he scores, he makes it a 14, seven game. I'm not really I'm not worried because those type of runs where he breaking off 70s those won't be consistent. Me cooking him defensively will though. Like right here he goes I I don't know why I audible to this uh he goes to quarters 3 deep. You know what I'm saying? We run the ball. Dumbass train. And uh right here I'm just going to come out. I'm hitting with the QB draw cuz you're in quarters 3 deep, bro. I'm going to cook you every time in this, stupido. Right here, he's on the edge because he wants to user rush me at the QB draw. But I don't really care about you user rushing me because I'm going to run the ball with the QB draw. Right here, he gets out of it. 
And then I'm like, we're going to go back to the same combo that we cooked him before because he's not going to make an adjustment. His defense is going to stay the same, just like the previous dude. Um, that time, 71 so close to getting the hell off my team, bro. Because I, 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 I need somebody maybe who's a little bit faster to backpedal and pick that up. That's what I'm starting to realize about left and right tackles. You definitely want a little bit of speed, you know what I'm saying, on that left and right tackle. Because sometimes they get that long looping animation and you want somebody who's able to get back there a little bit faster. So right here I recognize, okay, this stupid trying to go uh, a different type of man defense without sending pressure, which he's not going to be able to do because there's no adjustments behind him. So if it's no pressure, like when you, when you run base four-man rush coverages, the one thing you have to have behind you is some adjustments, bro. You don't want me to just be able to sit back there with my route combos and pick you apart. Like you don't want to blitz because you're getting killed with the C routes. So that's why you don't want to blitz me. But it, blitzing is your best bet if you do not understand uh, how to adjust and how to uh, and how to put your guys in position. You can have all 99s across the field. Right here, I know what he's in. So what I do is I just run him at the back of the end zone. I did not throw it because I just didn't feel like a knockout because I'm going to have to. Well, actually, right there, I did not have to high ball it. I could have regular threw it, but I'm so used to high balls. I'm going to run him back to the end zone. He's going to stand right there, and he's going to stand right there with him, and then I'm just going to hit this slant right here. You know what I'm saying? That was the whole – that's that's it. That's it. Because Bo – and he, he probably don't understand this. The position Bo in, is in right there and empty, he's, a, he's unbumpable. You can't press him. He's going to get a free release every time. So if I know you in and just straight press man, I could just slant him. He gonna get a free release he, with that 99 speed and that uh, free short end. He gonna get separation, and I'm gonna hit him on the back, on, 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 on in the back of the end zone, right here again. Touch him up, boom. Um, he's not gonna be able to run and get points. I get ball at half. So what I'm thinking is he's kind of feeling that pressure more than I am to get a touchdown because I get ball at half. And the same, like I told you before, like the mind of a runner, the last thing they, the last thing they want to be is down. They don't want to go into a, a half and then you get ball and they score. You know what I'm saying? So right here, he's trying to hurry up, which is stupid. Just burn your tos, especially if you're just gonna run the ball. Burn your tos. I got secure tackler on my user. Right here, this is where it gets stupid for him. You know what I'm saying? He motions him out. I'm like, cool, you can't pass. And as you can see right here, he just threw some shit, bro. He just threw some shit. And that's all I needed for him to do. You know what I'm saying? Because now if I can go down here and get three, then get ball at half where I know I'm going to get seven and let some stupid junk happen, now I take a multiple possession lead, and I know you can't play. I know you can't play from behind. So we hit the post route, burn the timeout immediately, 16 seconds left. I got plenty of time to pick up uh, what I need about two, about 35 yards. You know what I'm saying? I could pick that off. I could pick that up in one play. You know what I'm saying? If you play it stupidly, but I'm still gonna go towards the sideline so I don't have to burn to burn my last to um, right here. Boom! Catch him on the corner route. Go ahead, roll your big ass out of bounds. Now all I gotta do again. I know. I know he's in the same man defense. Uh, just based off this look, I'm going to go ahead and hit him with this post or this C route. He sends pressure, C route cooks, and then we to the crib on him. You know what I'm saying? And right then and there, dog just quit the game. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he knew what the business was. He knew I get ball at half. I just score. He's not going to be able to score. You know what I'm saying? And when I kick it to him for like with, with like seven seconds left, I get ball again, and he just taps out. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah, run season is hell, but bro, if you can just get them to just put that ball in the air in a clutch situation, they'll throw it to you. Appreciate y'all for rocking. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll get it y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.